Welcome back. Trailers galore, man. Disney Star Wars just dropped the Ahsoka official trailer. So we're checking it out. War is inevitable. One must destroy in order to create. We are no Jedi. Oh. I started hearing whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. I'm so glad what they're bringing in Thrawn. Thrawn. Power such as you've never dreamed. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Nice haircut. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be oh. in vain. You have no power. Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. I want it to be so good. I'm just, I am so. They have screwed up so much of that, man. You don't understand. I remember watching Star Wars in the theater when it debuted in 1977. Yeah, I'm an old fart. I know. But I've been a Star Wars fan forever. But I, I didn't get into the Clone Wars. I didn't have the opportunity. I wasn't watching TV. I was working a lot and just. Just didn't have access to it and just didn't really care about the animated shows very much. I have caught up here and there. I have seen like the whole first season. I've caught like key episodes here and there and everything. Um, Rebels watched the first season and then kind of like just forgot about it. Um, so it's I, I appreciate the fact that while I know Ahsoka and I know that backstory and I've seen all the key episodes with her and everything. Um, I appreciate that I can come into this one a little bit from the outside. Like I don't have the lore knowledge to go in here expecting them to be one way and then disappointed if they're not. Like I'm, I, there's a whole army of Star Wars, hardcore Star Wars, Clone Wars, and, and Rebels fans that can do all that. I can actually come into this one just as a fan because I have no expectations with it, except that I want it to be good. I just want Star Wars to be good again. And, and I've seen Mandalorian kind of take a slide in, in season three. Um, Book of Boba Fett was just such a huge wasted opportunity across every single episode. Um, and, and, the, and the movie's just... Like, like it's just Star Wars has been completely mishandled since Disney got a hold of it. The only thing, the only thing good that they did was, was uh, Rogue One. That's it. that's it. Like after that, it's just like well, the first two seasons of Mandalorian, um, little things here and there, but but for the over overall, it's just been so mishandled. So I appreciate. I, I'm I'm looking forward to Ahsoka coming into this. Her appearance in in Mandalorian was awesome. I love the look of those two white blades they just look so good um just i just want this to be so good i just want 
a great story. I can, I feel like I'm getting the opportunity to be introduced to a bunch of characters for the first time, which is something that I don't get with Star Wars a lot. You know, it's, it's funny watching other shows, other, other reaction channels or other reaction clips of like the kids saying, you know, the I am your father line for the very first time. Like I saw that in 1980. <laughs> I stood in line five hours to watch that scene in 1980 in South Texas in the summer. So don't tell me I haven't put in my dues. I just want this to be really good. And it looks great. The action looks great. The, the images look great. The characters look great. Seeing um, Ray Stevenson. Yeah, seeing Ray Stevenson is this. That's just, oh, I've been such a huge fan of his since he was in Rome. And the Punisher War Zone and in the Thor movies as Valstag. And just, I was such a huge fan of his and him dying recently. Just, that was that one. I, I really hated seeing that one happen. He was a young guy too. He wasn't that old. So seeing him in this, it, I don't, his character's uh, Balin Skull. I know nothing about that, which is fantastic. So I get to come in this completely clean. I see Tamura Morrison's in this as Captain Rex. David Tennant's in this. Wow. Lars Mickelson's in this. Oh, Lars Mickelson is Thrawn. I remember reading those books, the original Heir to the Empire books. If you haven't read them, like you need to read them because that's where Thrawn came from. That's his origin. And those two stories are just, those two novels are amazing. Or that, that novel is amazing. I love Grand Admiral Thrawn. And seeing him live for the first time is awesome. That's just so... <laughs> That's just so great. And Rosario Dawson looks so good as Ahsoka. You know, I was kind of worried about her when I first heard about that happening. I was kind of like, isn't she a little too old for that role? Or she kind of like, you know, seeing her in, uh, in Daredevil, you know, as Night Nurse was awesome. And then, and then I heard she was going to be Ahsoka. And I was kind of like, I've always just seen Ahsoka, like, as this little girl. Like, she can't be that much older, right? But, but. There's like 20 years that's passed, so she's like in her upper 30s, early 40s, something like that, timeline-wise. So, and, and Rosaria just pulls her off. She just looks so good in that. Wes Chatham is in it as Captain Enoch. I don't know who that is, uh, but Wes, huge fan of his from uh, The Expanse. I love his stuff. Hayden Christensen's in it as Anakin, so he's going to be making an appearance. Man, they just got like Mary Elizabeth Winstead's in here. Bring it. Please bring it. Just just bring me good. That's all I want. I just want goodness. I just want Star Wars goodness. Please don't mess this up. That's all I'm asking. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, expecting it. You know, are you, are you looking forward to this? Are you edgy like me? Are you kind of like, I've been burned so many times, but I got to stick my hand back in the fire. <sighs> I don't know, man. I guess I get the feeling like some big changes are getting ready to happen around there with the recent, uh, destruction of indiana jones and that dial of destiny just tanking completely and just so much going bad over there i can't help but think that kathleen kennedy's on the line nick is on the line i hope so because they need a whole revamp there's rumors flying around that lucasfilm is getting sold back to lucas your lips to god's ears please anyway <laughs> i could go on about this for hours and hours I'm going to go ahead and stop it now so you guys can go on to other stuff. But please come back. Give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with your friends and complete strangers. And most importantly, please drop me a comment. Let me know what you think below. I want to know everything you think about this because we can have this discussion. I never get tired of talking about Star Wars. Talk Star Wars all day. I'm good with it. Good or bad. Or bitter or worse. You know, it's a fandom that I've been a part of almost my entire life. Uh, and, and I love discussing it. So let's do that. In the meantime, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.